All right, everybody, how you doing? I know I've been away for a long time. I've seen you guys in the comments all upset about it. Uh, but I've mentioned in the live streams many, many times, I'm going to be taking the summer off. Uh, I just I was too busy this summer, so I wouldn't be posting as much. But September is around the corner. I'm posting this video. I'm going to be posting a bunch more. Don't worry. But this video here, I wanted to get started with... Uh, in my ranking of the zip, of these butane inserts, what's wrong with them, everything like that, exactly what Zippos do they fit in. I have every single type of Zippo here. I have a 32 replica, 35 replica, 41 replica, regular Zippo, armor Zippo. So we are. I'm going to discuss every single one, the pros and cons about it, what I like about it, what I don't like about it, uh, known issues and problems with it. And then I'm going to try it in every single case. And then that way you guys have, know it's all out there. Everyone can check out this video. I get asked with these comments all the time. And I keep responding to them. So I just figured the video would be the best thing. So we're going to start off right away with the Thunderbird regular insert. Uh, I've had a bunch of these. They were all broken and gone on me. Uh, there's problems with them. I'm going to get into it here. Uh, but the first thing I want to say about them is every single one eventually leaks here. Uh, it is a cam based, it is a cam based butane system. Uh, when it's open, it picks the spring up, which actually picks up the butane uh, reservoir, and then you spark it and it lights and everything like that. Uh, but these all these all eventually just leak butane. Uh, the spring gets weak, and when it's pushed down, it's not actually pushing down all the way to close the reservoir from preventing the butane from leaking out. Uh, so the only way to fix it is basically to uh, replace the spring or tighten the spring. Uh, at first, I thought it was the little piece inside the lid here uh, that was preventing it from closing all the way. And uh, no matter what I did, it didn't matter. It was actually the spring. Uh, so if you use these every day and you're a full-time user, you might not even notice the butane's leaking, but leave them for a few days and you go to use it and it's empty. Uh, that's a pretty big pain in the butt. I do not like these Thunderbird... Uh, butane inserts i find they're extremely cheap and all eventually break I, I don't know what that is about it uh very cheap materials uh don't like them uh, another one here is the thunderbird butane pipe insert i'm just going to put it in the same category as this one because they're from the same company uh so this is actually pretty useful and everything, but unfortunately it falls victim to the exact same things as the regular one. It's just not going to work. A lot of people on here always say, oh, I don't like the, uh, I don't like the yellow flame because of the button on it. I, I want it to just light when I open it and blah, blah, blah. Okay, well then get these inserts and it's going to break on you in a month or leak butane or whatever it is. And you'll just have to keep buying them. At least this, you might have to hold down a button, but you're not wasting butane and it works all the time. And this thing's rock solid. We'll get into it later. So... Now you want to get one of these pieces of junk. Let's see what it fits in. So first up, we got the 32 replica. Uh, it doesn't fit too good. It doesn't fit in there actually very well at all. So let's try the 35. Look at that. It doesn't, it doesn't close properly. Something's going on. And it's jammed in there pretty good now so I'm gonna get my I should have these already pull this thing out so you don't really want to put that in a 35 let's see how it fits in a 41 and they fit in a 41 you could use it in a 41 it's, it is a little tight, but not a big deal. Okay, so now let's see how it fits in a regular Zippo. I know they fit in there just fine. I had them in there, yeah. Nice, nice smooth fit. All right, now let's see how it fits in my custom armor. Rose gold. Also fits in there. Operates fine also. All right. So those are the Thunderbird inserts. And also just want to let you know, I have another Thunderbird insert here. I didn't even bother adding it into the video, but I'm just going to show it quick. It is a jet. It is the jet. Uh, this thing actually blew up in my hand. The rubber, that, the rubber tube that goes to the reservoir has corroded. 
and uh, I went to go light it and oopsie daisies it was pretty bad so I don't recommend getting these at all uh, that is less that one's uh, less than a year and a half old and it already had the issues of the parts deteriorating so be very very wary of it all right so now we move on uh, we got the Udis this is the two-in-one combo uh, yellow flame and torch as you can see it's got the soft flame you touch this button here and it's a torch uh, so it is also the cam open to do it uh, I used it for about a month and I didn't have any bad things to say about it uh, as as part as to like butane evaporating out of it uh, now eventually over time it did start happening uh, where these will run out of butane in about three days uh, this one will take about a whole week, but if you let it sit there for a week, it will evaporate out of there. It's already having the issue. And another thing I wanted to say about this one is this one is the hardest one to light in any kind of gentle breeze. Uh, any type of gentle breeze, this thing won't light. You can't get the soft flame going and you can't get the torch going. Uh, this was the most annoying outside butane insert I've ever had. Uh, because in the wind, the torches will light up. Uh, the torches are pretty windproof. Uh, but this requires you to have it soft flame first to be able to light the torch. So it's it's really hard to light outside. And uh, just for people who wanted to see, let's see what it fits in. 32 replica. Fits in the 32 replica. Opens and closes. Oh. It doesn't close very good. See, it's leaking butane right now. Uh, you'll see this is a common problem with this insert. Uh, it's not the lighter. It is... It's not the case, it is the insert for sure. Uh, let's see how it does in a 35. Uh, see again, it has this problem across a lot of Zippos. And now let's check out a 41. Same issue, you can see the gap. All right, now regular. Regular Zippo. Look, same thing. Same issue. And now let's try it in the old armor. Fits very loose in there, but it actually works. I can only get this insert to work in armor, so I actually only ever carry that insert in an armor. But since it started leaking, I actually stopped using it completely. Uh, but for the purpose of this video, I wanted everyone to see what it fits in, what it doesn't. Uh, it fits loose in an armor, but it works though. That's the thing. It's the only one it fits in properly where the lid will shut. So that is an issue. Okay, so now we're moving on from Thunderbird, Udis. Now we're going on to Zorro. Uh, I have one of each style. Uh, double torch and single torch and they sell double torches in this uh, view window style and they sell uh, Single torches in this all metal style open back um, These seem to be the better quality ones and I, as I go through I'm gonna tell you why so here's the double torch uh, it lights up very nice it's on a little high i didn't set the temperature this is a brand new one i just opened it for the video i gave all mine away so i didn't have any so i had to open up one uh the double torch works good uh this one it's it's much lighter than the uh zippo double torch uh it feels like uh the zippo double torch is definitely more heavy duty but this one is going to chew through a lot of fluid uh but as far as the texture this brass plating or some sort of a gold tone plating whatever's on it is uh, very tough. It's, it seems almost indestructible. Uh, the ones I carried around for years because I bought these a few years ago, uh, uh, very minimal scratching, held up very well. I think this is a much flashier looking insert than the Zippo. Uh, and I've never had one of these all metal style case ones break on me from Zorro. Uh, that's why I think they are pretty good. If you are going to get one, a single torch I'd get instead of the double torch and get the all metal one. Don't get these sight glass ones. They're kind of junk. Uh, and now let's see what it fits in. Doesn't fit. Doesn't fit in the 32. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna put that in there. Uh, let's see how it fits in the 35. Doesn't close properly. No, it won't close properly in the 35. Let's try a 41. Oh, it's perfect in the 41. I have to say it actually looks pretty fancy. 
having that in there looks pretty good clicks good uh the one thing i like about the zorro inserts is the lid doesn't wiggle side to side on a zorro insert like it does on a zippo uh, maybe something zippo can work on that in the future and uh let's try a regular case i don't think it does no i'm not gonna force that in there no I've had problems with these uh, inserts in regular size cases. I heard other people don't have the same issue, but I've had them with all of mine. Uh, and they all fit in armor. They fit perfect in an armor. And it, like I said, it keeps the lid straight, keeps it from wiggling. Uh, didn't close all the way there. Uh, keeps it from wiggling, keeps it on there very good. I do like it. And it looks, uh, it looks sharp in a rose gold, I have to admit. That looks very nice. And it hear that it really holds that lid on because see it gives a little gap there and you got to just push it down the rest of the way because it really holds that lid on and when you open it really gives it a ping see it really pops it open because it's on there so good i kind of just use that insert for nice armors that's what i would suggest it for i put it in my uh in the solid silver armor this looks pretty sharp not gonna lie and now we move on to the Zorro single torch with the view window. Uh, this is actually a Frankenstein insert. I bought five of these. I gave one to Jeremy, uh, one to Dylan, and I broke three of them. And out of all three I broke, I had to put them all together to make one good one. Uh, but once I did that one, the one I made out of all three never stopped working. Uh, this is far superior on butane than a double torch. Uh, but I would get the single torch in this style, in the all metal case style. I would not get the sight glass one again. I'd have to say that was probably the worst performing one because it's the only one that broke on me. These never have. And this one fits in everything. Uh, I, I will show you. Fits in the 32, nice and snug. Nice close. Fits great. Uh, the Zoros do tend to light up first pull a lot of the time. They are pretty schnazzy. All right, now 35. Does it fit in a 35? No, it won't fit in a 35, I don't think. No, nope. not a lot will. I'm just testing. I'm just testing for the 35. Just to see what does fit in a 35, which for the video, people are going to ask, so... The 41, nice and snug, works fine, looks sharp in there too. I always like the brass version. Uh, that's why, the only reason why I got the Zorro Butane inserts was just because they're the only ones that are brass. I hope Zippo does that soon. Uh, regular Zippo, fits fine. That's what it's meant for. And Armor Zippo, fits fine. And also looks very sharp in it because it's rose gold with the gold. All right, so now let's move on. So now we got these uh, Zippo Double Torch. Great lighter, I got this dialed down. I got good butane in it. It's one I use. Uh, I really do like the any Zippo brand. Uh, if I'm gonna get any butane insert, guys, I'm just gonna be 100% on, honest with you. Now that we're on to three last and they're all Zippo products, get the zippo put out the extra money get the zippo i've had nothing but problems with all these except this one i i will back this one up but it has issues fitting into everything as you guys seen doesn't want to fit into a regular case uh only issue i have with it other than that it's pretty it's actually pretty good but i wouldn't get any of these man i honestly wouldn't when it comes to quality and manufacturing uh there's really i know these aren't made in america but uh, they are held to a higher standard because it's good quality parts. I've had them for just as long as I've had these, uh, except for the yellow flame. They just came out. I, I don't want to sound like I've had a yellow flame for years. But uh, for, the, for as far as the torches go, I've never had one of them break. Uh, I've seen people in the comments, they've had them break. I'm not saying it doesn't happen. Uh, but the Zippo brand ones, they've been lasting me years. None of these lasted me a year. Like I don't have the same one that's a year old. They've all broken or stopped working since then. So, or started leaking if they're a Thunderbird or like the cam style, if it's a cam style butane, uh, they're gonna start leaking no matter what you do. Uh, that's why I like the button. I prefer the button. I've learned my lesson on wasting money on these ones because the cam will loosen and it'll just uh, spit butane and there's nothing you can do about it. And that's why when it's a button, it's controlled. I prefer the button. So I'm gonna stick with the button. I do like the double torch. 
And just to show everybody, the double torch fits in everything. Fits in the 32, just nice and fine. But as you can see, the lid will wiggle in a Zippo insert. I hope that's something they work on. Uh, I don't know if it fits in the 35. I don't see it working. No, nope, it doesn't work in the 35. 41, like a glove, shuts good. All right. We all know we all know it's gonna fit in a regular in an armor, but so fits in an armor. Uh, as you can see, I've heard a lot of people say theirs is loose in an armor. Mine's not falling out. Uh, it doesn't seem to be loose in my armor. Uh, I know I skipped the regular. I felt back here. I'll put it in there. It's tight in a regular. It fits fine. That's what they're made for. I shouldn't have to show it, but people do ask. So there you go. All right, and then finally, we have the single torch. Uh, the single torch is my favorite uh, Zippo butane insert uh, when it comes to any of these because it lasts way longer than a double torch. A double torch uses double the fluid. That's just the way it goes. If you're going to use a double torch, expect to fill it a lot more and for it to last uh, last longer of time. But when it's a single torch, it'll actually it'll actually light pretty pretty long. It'll 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 last you, man. It should last you all week almost uh, if you're an everyday user. Um, I really like it. Like, I, I can't say enough about the Zippo branded ones. They're just, they're heavier. They're bulkier. They just feel sturdier. The whole button systems aren't loose, and they're all real tight, and they all stay that way. These are years old. Uh, I like them. I, I, after getting all of them and reviewing them all over the last two years, I've had these all for a long time. I've been doing the work, doing the research. I have to say Zippo is better quality built, thousand times yes better built than these i don't care what anyone says you could argue with me you're blue in the face the zippo ones even though they come from china are better quality than the rest of these they really really are so i have to give it to zippo on that they uh whatever teams they linked up with are uh, really did well they are the best butane inserts out there i can i can definitely say that uh there's no point in me going showing you if it fits in all of them i just showed you the double insert did <laughs> so it's going to have the exact same results as all of them because it's based off it just with a double instead of a single. So I'm not going to waste anybody's time doing that. And now we're going to move on to the hands down best insert they have to offer right now is the yellow flame. I'm not really a torch guy, uh, but the one thing the torch holds over the yellow flame is the yellow flame is hard to light in the wind where the torch actually, in most wind it will light up. You, it's, it's not as good as a Zippo with fluid, but it's definitely 10 times better than the yellow flame. But I don't like a torch. I don't use a torch for everything. I'm not really a torch guy. I was buying the torches because that's all that was available. Uh, I'm a soft flame guy. And in my opinion, this is a soft flame done right. Really like it, man. I don't have any issue with it. The button, you can just hear the ping when it pops back up. It's just tight. It works really well. Uh, it's a great system. <laughs> Uh, the only issue I had was with the cam, but I oiled it one time. You can see there's still some on it. I've never had that issue again. Uh, so all you got to do is keep it oiled and you won't have any wear and tear on your parts. Uh, this thing's built to last. It's a very simple design. You replace the flint, you fill it with butane, it'll always work. Uh, that's the one thing I really, really do like about this thing. Uh, it fits pretty much in everything. Fits in the 32 just fine. Looks good, I might add. Uh, let's see if it fits in a 35. I actually don't know. Don't think it will. It's pretty loose. Huh. It fits in a 35. Fits in a 35. Works in a 35. You can actually have it in the 35. But 35s don't make the ping. I don't like that because your hand's there. So, I don't know. Always pretty silent with the 35s. That's why they're not my favorite Zippo. So, if it fits in a 35, it'll fit in a 41. Yeah, fits in a 41. Fine. Okay, now, regular Zippo. Yep, that's a regular Zippo. Now, everyone always asks me this. Oh, does it fit the rose gold armor? Look, it's a little loose. See? A little loose. A little loose in the armor. So, to fix that, all you gotta do... Grab a piece of tape. This is what I do. I'm going to show you how to do this the best way. So if you wanted to run this in your armor, all you got to do is get a piece of tape, put it down the front, 
this is just painter's tape guys you don't want to use it's a nice thin tape it doesn't leave like a bad sticky residue because if you're gonna leave the tape on over time it'll leave like a bad sticky residue so you put it on the front because the problem isn't the side to side the problem is the front to back that's why it's loose put that in look at that now it's tight oh look at it wasn't so you, sometimes you might have to double up on the tape my tape is probably a little thin there we go so I'll double up double up there we go now it works so I had to use double the tape not a big deal uh, but hands down I don't care that it doesn't fit in an armor properly uh, it's a better insert. This thing's just bulky and big. It weighs more than the other butane inserts. I'm just taking the tape off here. Uh, it weighs more than the other inserts, uh, the more than the torches. So if you add that in a regular Zippo, it makes it feel like an armor. It's, it's hands down the best in my opinion. Uh, I used to care about the whole button thing. I used to like that these ones because it would open up. But since these ones are all such problems, I don't care about them. Uh, you can throw them out the window. I'll never order another one in my life. I'm only about these ones now. I don't mind the button because it's a controlled butane. I like it better. It's a sharper looking insert. It reminds me of like a 50s car with the bubbling. It looks cool. I think it's a fresh new design in Zippo. And uh, I'm happy with it. So I hope you found this video useful. I'll see you in the next one, guys. Take care. Have a good one.